G'day, I'm Fieldsy, and this week we're talking about the real cost of the four most popular satellite communicators. So first of all, we've got the Spot Gen 4. It's pretty much the same as the Spot Gen 3 if you've had one of those. Now, the big disadvantage of this guy is it can't receive messages. Yeah, you got the SOS button, you can send pre-set up messages to people, but you don't get confirmation that they've received that message in an emergency. So yeah, that's the downside of the Gen 4. One upside, and it's, yeah, it might be important to some people, it takes four AAA batteries. So you can grab them while you're out and about. It doesn't need recharging, but they do last a long time, and they really do. So the Spot Gen 4 to buy is $189. It's got the SOS button that sends the cavalry. It's got a check-in button that can send a pre-set up message to up to 10 recipients, either text or email. It's got a help button that you can set up so that it just says you need help. I'm not dying, but I need help. But like I said, the big downside of this one is it can't receive messages. The next one on the list is the Spot X. So this does all the stuff that the Gen 4 does with the advantage of being able to receive a message back. So what it does is you use Bluetooth and it hooks up to your phone and you can use their app and you can send and receive messages. Because it's got a keyboard, you can also use it as a standalone device, which might be important. If your phone goes down, it's destroyed, you've still got the ability to send and receive messages with the Spot X. It does the tracking and it does the receiving messages. You can also post the social. I haven't really looked into that, but I assume it just sends a message on your Facebook and says, hey, here I am. And to buy this one, it's $429. Don't get too caught up on the prices here because I'll put it all together in the end. Next, you've got the Garmin InReach Mini. So to buy this, it's $519. You get two-way messaging, but it needs to be hooked up to your phone to get full functionality. So the Bluetooth it has, that's for hooking up to your phone, but it can also communicate with other compatible Garmin devices. Other GPSs made by Garmin, but not all of them. Again, it's also got the SOS button. They've all got that, and they all actually work through the same people, the same, so you're gonna get the same effect by pushing that button. Next, you've got the Zolio. I haven't really played with one of these. It'll cost you $345. Now, it connects to your phone, like some of the others. It's got an SOS button, it's got a check-in button. It's also got custom text and an email button. The tracking with this one is done through the app, so if somebody wants to track you, they have to download the app and install it on their phone or device, and it only has one preset message. The neat thing about this is, using their app, it'll use the mobile network if it can. If it can't, it'll go through the satellite network. So that's pretty cool. So what I've done to compare them all, I've worked out a first year buy-in. So this will include purchasing the device, any activation fee plus your plans. So with the Zolio, you're looking at $345 for the device, $40 for activation, $384 for the plan, $95 for tracking. That gives you a total of $864 for the first year of ownership. That's the cheapest option. If you go unlimited, you're looking at $345 for the device, $40 for activation, $960 for the plan, $95 for tracking. So that'll put you out $1,440 for the first year of ownership. The Garmin InReach, going the cheapest option, we're looking at $519 for the device, $240 for the plan, $49 for your activation fee. That gives you a total of $808 going the cheapest option. If you go to the top of the range expedition plan, you're looking at $519 for the device, $1,188 for the plan, $49 activation fee. So you're looking at $1,756 for the first year of ownership. For the Spot X, you're looking at $429 for the device, $27 for activation, $248 for the plan. That gives you a total of $707 for the first year of ownership. If you go the unlimited plan, you're looking at $429 for the device, $27 for the activation, $577 for the plan. That gives you a total of $1,033 for the first year of ownership. And the Spot Gen 4. So I've worked these out in Australian dollars and they're correct as of now, but they should be pretty close. This is the cheapy of the group, but remember, you can't receive messages with this one. So going the cheapest route, you're looking at $189 for the device, $30 for activation, and then $252 for the plan. That gives you a total of $471. And going annually, it's pretty much the same. You just times it by 12. It doesn't make much difference. It's like one buck. So in conclusion, if you just want an SOS button and you want people to be able to see where you are, the cheapest and best option is probably the Spot Gen 4. If you want 
something that can give you two-way communication and work as a standalone device with full functionality, then you probably want the Spot X. If you already have a compatible Garmin GPS or you want the smallest option available, you might want to go the Garmin InReach Mini. The other option you might want to go if you are due for a new GPS or you just want a new GPS might be to look at the Garmin's that have the inReach capability built into them. The Montana 700i looks really awesome for adventure riding, so I'd probably be looking at that personally. Or if all you want is a button to push in a real emergency, then the best option would be a PLB. You can pick one of those up for under $400. The batteries last years and there's no subscription fee. So that's my take on the current satellite communicators. They look pretty good. They're definitely a good thing to have. It gives you a bit of peace of mind, especially when you're traveling alone. But also, if you're traveling with people you give a shit about, it's pretty handy because if uh, shit turns to clay and you're the guy who can push the button, it's a good thing to be able to do. I'm Fieldsy, and if you've really enjoyed watching this, like and subscribe and you'll see more from me. If not, well, don't. You probably won't.